In my last video, I show you my design for this laser engraver and how I try to convert a timing bell into a gear rack. Right? In the big picture, it seems to be working all right. Uh, that uh, is engraved like correctly, but if you look closely at the results, it's not perfect. And let me just show you the problem. As you can see here, there's a lot of vertical line on this picture, and uh, the spacing between the lines are exactly the pitch of the GT2 belt. So after a bit of research, I think I can explain why. And you can see here on this GT2 belt and the pulley, the teeth are straight. So normally the gear rack and the pinion just come with it. Just going to have the helical teeth. So when the pinion rotate, the teeth will be always engaged. That's how the helical gears work. So this will roll like smoothly and consistently throughout the movement. But here, when the teeth are straight, there's always some gap like when the pulleys rotate so the teeth that are not engaged so that's where the axis move a bit slower so the laser burn a bit more create a darker line and uh, when the teeth are engaged it push a bit faster so the laser burn a bit less and create a lighter line that's where you see all kind of like vertical lines in my image but I think this idea is still cool and there's solution to solve this problem. First of all, you can buy some type of helical timing belt and a pulley, though um, a bit more expensive and not really like, available to large population. The other solution is you can use two stepper motor on one gear rack like this. So um, the spacing between the pulley will be kind of like uh, odd number of the pitch. For example, if the pitch is 2 mm, the spacing will be something like 41 mm or 43 mm. So that way, uh, there's always like one teeth is uh, engaged, so the movement will be smooth. So those two solutions require some more money, some investment, and I don't have access to them right now. My third solution is just to go back to the traditional way of installing the GT2 belt or timing belt on the pulley just to wrap the belt around the pulley so that way there will be multiple points that is uh, engaged on the pulley and the belt so the axis will move like smoothly and continuously to implement this solution I just make some small changes on the design so the overall structure stays the same the shape of the brackets and everything stay the same I change a little bit the step of moral mount some spacing here to install the belt and on this side that's it the installation of the frame stay the same so let me just like replace the bracket very quickly and uh, show you how I set up the step moro and the GT2 belt after that I think I can show you the good results of the engraving I had the frame put back together very nicely everything slide very smoothly without any problem just one thing to pay attention just you have this slot here on all the bracket they should face outside not inside now to the step moro you will need one of the pulley like this on this step of motor so you just slide the pulley in here and the distance between this edge and this edge should be between 2 or 2.5 mm so I just have this plate about 2.2 mm so I just slide it in here and I just uh, push it a bit like lightly and then I can like tighten the set screw here Then you can pull this plate out and tighten the rest and make it really tight. Now just set it aside for a little bit. Now to the step of motor mount here, you have these two holes to install this idler. So you will need some of the M5 bolts, about 30 millimeter length. So you just slide them through here. Okay. So now just take some of the washer, about three of them and then put one of the nuts on it. So the total thickness here of the washer and the nuts is about 6 mm. And then you just slide this idler in here and then I put another nut on it. So you only need to tighten this like lightly and don't press this too hard. Just make sure that the idler is still like rotating freely. And then uh, because this nut is not really tightened, so to prevent it from like rotating and rolling out, you just use some of the hot glue gun and put some glue in here, so the nut not going to like rotate.
Just make sure that you have the Arduino installed on this flat side. This side have the slot here is to install the stepper motor. Will be like this. I just need to fix the stepper motor with some of the M3 bolt. Okay, so now this setup is ready. You can check if they are on or launch by using a belt like this, slide it through, wrap around the pulley, go around this, and the belt should look like straight. So if you have all the distance right, they should line up and they should line up with the slot that I showed you earlier. Okay, so now I just need to finish all these three setup and then install them on the machine and then I will show you how I run the belt. Now I just mount all the stepper motor on the frame. Uh, the next step is just to run the belt. This will be very easy. So first of all, we just take some of the long M6 bolts, slide through this hole here, pre-install this piece on it, like this. You don't need to press it all the way in yet, just a bit like this. Then put on some nuts. I ran the bell on the Y axis and that's really easy. So now I'm just going to show you on the X axis the similar way. So first of all, you take the belt, you just like slice, wrap around the pulley here. Go through the idler like this and pull it this end of the belt all the way through here through the slot here and then just align it to the end here then you press it down and then you tighten the bolt make sure you do it real tight ok so now this end is fixed you just uh, pull this and see how long you will need just give it a bit of extra here so you can just have the end like stick out here so you can pull it okay, so I just slide it through here through the slot and then I had to pull it real hard so to make it tight and then press this piece in all the way in and then tighten the bolt If you are not happy with the tension, you can release it a little bit and then pull it again. Well, that's it. Now the machine is ready, so let me just show you how it's engraved. As you can see that the machine moves as smoothly as it should, so let me just engrave the same picture and see how it looks like compared to the old one. As you can see the difference here, this is a new one that you don't see any type of line like vertical and horizontal. This one you can see plenty. Okay, so for a cheap laser engraver, probably the traditional way to install the belt, just have the belt wrap around the pulley is the way to go. Later on, if I have more money, I will try again the solution to use the timing belt at a gear rack. And let me just try to invest something else just for fun. Okay, so this new image, I engraved it in grayscale mode and it's come out quite good. Uh, it's just a bit darker than I thought, so I can go a bit faster or I should reduce the intensity of the laser. But anyway, I think that it's just a matter of time until I find all the good parameters to engrave images. But the machine works well and I think I will have a lot of fun from now on.